no problem, no problem. Uh, hello, welcome to all of you in Paris. So my name is Clément Wilmin. Um, I'm a landscape designer and uh, my agency is called uh, Baz, which means uh, means something in uh, in, Engl in, French, in French and in English it means builds a super environment. Uh, so the project you have here, it's in two parts. So I made the visit so that you don't have too much sun in your in your eyes, okay? So you can profit uh, from the shadow and water from here is all I can give you for the moment. Um, uh, so what you see uh, is a playground. It's uh, 1,000 square meters. It was realized in 2008. And we, made, we did the design of it. And we started to work on this project in 2005. The client is the city of Paris and the department of green spaces. Uh, before that playground here on the site, there was another playground that was almost the same, um, uh, the same uh, dimension, okay? But the style was totally different. It was some kind of a mini ranch made out of uh, round pieces of wood, uh, like terraces, because um, here there's a big slope. The slope is uh, 30 degrees, which is uh, the slope of a stair. Um, and before there were like different terraces and it was cool but um, some terraces were better than other ones so it was not a regular occupation of the site so we tried to put all the site on the flattened uh, well to stick to the to the site uh, so that we could imagine uh, slopes for uh, climbing so all you see here is supposed to be um, um, regular to the uh, legislation uh, to the rules concerning playgrounds in uh, in France, which are quite strict. So we had to learn all these rules because it's the first playground we ever did. Um, so we had to learn all the rules and I will uh, tell you just uh, two or three because some of them are quite amazing or awkward or you wouldn't imagine uh, like this, that, they were, uh, that the rules were like this. Uh, and another thing I can tell you is like the um, hope of living, well, the... Um, the, 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 the former playground lasted for 25 years, which, we, which is already very good. And uh, supposedly a playground like this is supposed to live for 15 years. 15 years is honorable and maybe 10 years, uh, 20 years is really, really good. And from, uh, since uh, 2008, there was no uh, big accident on this playground. Uh, the, um, there was one accident at the very beginning, but it was like some stupid classical uh, accident from the this slide here, like a kid uh, went down and uh, bumped into another kid and he has his, his eyes was opened here, he went to the hospital in the afternoon, he was back again on the site. It's the worst uh, accident like here. But when they discovered the site at, the, at first, like all the mummies from the district, they were very scared because when you look at this, you imagine yourself like uh, the worst scenarios ever. But the children are not so stupid and they don't just uh, throw themselves uh, into the air. Um, so all these slopes, uh, it's a game of slopes, uh, you have small slopes for like small children and higher slopes for taller children and uh, impossible slopes so that no, no one goes from, uh, from, one to, to, from one side to the other. Also the best game here is the, the slides here. Uh, the slide was existing in the previous, uh, in the previous playground so we took it and uh, shaped it again so it was... Uh, 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 accordable to the to the rules um, so basically you can imagine that one of the game is to uh, offer multiple uh, ways to get uh, to get back on the top to do the um, to do the slide again um, and also another thing is like um, so we worked on on the the behavior of the children and also on the Im their imaginary their imagination and they have a very very strong imagination so the children are about, you know, like to ask to make themselves different scenarios. And we also always have one scenario. When you look at a film, you try to find the moral at the end of the film and you have one explanation, not five at the same time. So the children are able to move from one scenario to another one. And uh, something can be a car or a mountain or a carpet or a castle or a boat at the same time. And they have this uh, capability that we don't have. 
So that's the reason why you don't have, you don't need, you shouldn't make a fixed scenario when you make a playground. And this looks like nothing. When you say something looks like nothing, usually it's not a compliment. But for a playground, I think it's a compliment. It looks like a mountain, it looks like a boat, it looks like different things. But they need different elements of figuration, you know, uh, so, uh, explicit elements so that they can make themselves their scenario. They can't make a scenario from like an abstract, like a red square, it doesn't mean nothing to them. To them. But if they have windows, if they have uh, ropes, they can start and making them their, 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 their scenario. Um, on the site that you, you, you are in, the, the park, uh, it exists uh, since 1985. So you will see the style is a bit a mix between uh, uh, landscapey um, 19th century and uh, 1980s. So the style is a bit awkward when you look at the colors and etc. But it's a very good park and it was made very seriously and especially the, the design on the slopes. Uh, it's on the pathways, etc. It's very thin and very uh, subtle, so that you, it's not it's not complicated to cross the garden. It's not complicated to to go on top of it. Um, that's one thing. So basically, this uh, this thing, I consider that uh, it's um, it's a work of a landscape designer. Uh, an architect wouldn't have done the same. I'm sure of it. And an artist wouldn't have done the same. Um, and because this. Um, this tries to emphasize the existing slope that we have on the site. And this site is very important. Actually, on, we are on a kind of hill. It's called the Butte Pia, which is higher than Montmartre. And on top of the site, like at the other bottom of the, um, of, of the, of the park up here, you have like an outstanding view on all over Paris. And um, here you could see the Eiffel Tower, but there's only one place you see the Eiffel Tower from the playground. It's a tower that's only for children tower that you will see on, uh, on top of it but the parents don't see the and another thing is like the it's it's um, um, it's supposed to be for children from uh, 6 to 12 years old and this is um, a portion of children that usually they don't have nothing for them no nobody wants to offer them playgrounds and it's a very specific uh, age uh, in which you should take care of children because it's the moment they can uh, like move to drug dealing or we don't know exactly but it's better to have to find them something that if not they stay on, on TV okay um, and there, 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 there was it was one of the first in Paris to be um, uh, to offer to this uh, segment which is we call the pre uh, teens it's not teens it's pre, -tweet, pre teens um, but the, the rules are concerning playgrounds which is again very strict in France doesn't uh, is the same for all kids so um, so it should be even even a two-year-old should be able to walk on these places and uh, not break a leg. Um, all the slopes here are minimum to 38 degrees because 38 degrees, for, in for instance, is the limit uh, on which the rule uh, considers that it's a ground. And above 38, 38 is quite, st quite uh, st uh, uh, stiff. Above 38, it's co considered to be a wall. So which means that if it's a ground, you don't need some... Uh, uh, some fence. You don't need fences. So you will see some fences, but almost the fences are for comfort. Okay, they are not like obliged obliged uh, fences. Um, and we wanted to have not so, not so many fences. Um, and and also the ropes, the, they are not used uh, for security, but just to slow down the movement. Okay, and if they fall, they can use some fences or the ropes to stop them from uh, falling down. Uh, basically, the game here is like to get up, and there's a hole here that gets the other way. Um, and I and I propose that we go to the to the upper part. Uh, we'll see it. Uh, you take uh, we take uh, two or three minutes to get up, and then we rush to the very shadowy point upstairs because uh, otherwise we will all be sweaty. Okay. Maybe we can go by both sides. Uh, you can go by. Uh, you can do. There, there's like a hundred uh, ways to get up. <laughs> Everyone chooses uh, the one he likes. Uh, everybody can go. Okay. So feel free to use it because this is also a conversation. Here, so you can go like this. This part here, this kind of uh, bridge, it existed from uh, the beginning. So it means that it's from uh, 19, 
85 and it's made of um, it's made of pine trees I guess yeah it's made of pine trees a pine tree but the bottom of it uh, was destroyed by a fire so we kept it and uh, we, what we did the tower at the bottom is some kind of a customization of a mini ranch uh, bridge so it's a bit uh, wicked uh, but that's what we tried to do and at the same time the tower is the same thing it looks a bit like a head of a robot or it looks like uh, nothing really serious you can uh, um, uh, you could manipulate different uh, interpretations of uh, what it is and uh, also the bridge is accessible from the parents but the tower is only reserved to, for kids so uh, it's different levels of one meter and uh, fifty uh, which means that an adult can't stay, uh, can't stay in. It's really a pain in the ass when you're an adult here and you, you, you see how you are, like uh, there's no real place for parents. So that's made on purpose and we were criticized by this because we didn't manage to uh, design lots of places for our parents. But we consider that um, when you're 8 or 12 years old, you don't need like your parents to take you uh, with your hands uh, to get in all the playgrounds. And also, especially in this area, it's a, it's a very popular area and there's like lots of kids, uh, uh, like Chinese kids and black kids, etc. It's all different colors and lots of them, uh, they can play without their parents. Okay. Um, so we like the idea that uh, it's a, only a place only for children and the parents, they don't feel at ease, they can slip. It's not really so cool for parents. It's made on purpose. Um, and then, so this I told you, it's, it's pine tree, and the other one we did for the for the boards, the walking boards, all, all the slopes in wood. It's made out of oak, and the structure uh, beneath it is made out of oak also. Uh, oak is supposed to last for uh, maybe uh, 25 or 30 years easily. Um, and all the boards, maybe you see, maybe you you you, you will you will check. All the boards, they have a, a kind of um, a, 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 a design for you not to slip on it. And actually, all the boards are rectangular, but it's all the structure in, in, uh, uh, behind it, which has a design of a of shed, like industrial roof, roofs. So it was all made up with computers. Uh, it was quite complicated, so that you have a different up level and you don't slip on it. But actually, the... Um, the, the guys from the park, they consider that still it's slippy and so sometimes uh, when it's raining they, they close it uh, but I walked on it with like uh, flat shoes on, uh, and it's not really slippy but if you would walk on this place like uh, with uh, high heels uh, and in the hands in your pocket and looking, uh, looking at, uh, at, the, the, at the sky you maybe you would fall down but actually you are, the way you walk, it, uh, you adapt yourself to the reality of the terrain like when you do a, a trekking and that's what the, the, the kids do and uh, most of them are either barefoot or with uh, sneakers so it's absolutely no problem and also we have this uh, the same principle of having different slopes of difficulties regarding different levels and it's also it's, it's important for the kids to learn to push their limits so the the playground is hard and they, the small ones take model on the on the on the older ones and they try to imitate them and then uh, okay so the aim and actually it's not what we, d we choose but that's how somebody told me how did you win this thing the city of Paris what they did is they made uh, they organized workshops with all the inhabitants and all the children in the district and they try to make them uh, design uh, what would be their ideal uh, uh, playground so with our program for the um, for the study was like a book that fat with children of uh, uh, children uh, sketches like with dinosaurs and uh, everything, and also there were um, there was some uh, some guy to organize all the workshops and he, they could uh, uh, they could um, uh, finalize some values that the that the, the inhabitants had said and the, the the inhabitants didn't say we want a maximum of security they did not say that they did not say we want something. Uh, that it explores an, an ideal world. Or they did not say that. They want. We w they say we want our children uh, to learn how to take risks. We want our children to uh, to be tough guys or tough girls. 
uh, to know how to to live your life and uh, with all the tough ar arguments, etc. So that's what they said. And the city of Paris, uh, to choose which designer would um, would do the job, they we had some multiple choice question, okay, and we had to choose important values for us and. By chance, we choose the exact same important values as uh, as the inhabitants, and the most important value was taking risk. So the park is based on the, uh, this idea of taking risk. You should hurt yourself, okay, but you should not endanger your life. But you should hurt yourself. So it's good if you have like a bit uh, a scratchy, uh, scratchy knees, and uh, okay, so that you can learn your limits bit by bit. Okay, so the easy, the easiest parts are on wood, and then a bit more difficult on uh, on concrete. Um, That's my wife. Exactly, <laughs> you un you understand everything. <laughs> um, okay, and um, then you have like you you you, you have uh, like cones on which you can talk. So they they work two by two. You can communicate with each other. I don't remember the plan how it works, but uh, the, the six or four of them, I don't know, they communicate two by two. There's like uh, tubes be uh, in the in the structure. Uh, under the wood, it's full of concrete. It's terraces of concrete because uh, here the um, uh, the geology here is basically uh, a garbage. Ga a garbage. Uh, okay, the, the, we don't know exactly. They call it uh, anterior Jurassic garbage or whatever. Um, so it's it's um, there was a big problem for all the, the terrain to slip because uh, down here it's. Um, all the uh, places where you would dig the ground to take uh, stones, ca ca uh, yeah, stones, uh, extracting stones. Uh, so it's it's a bit like a ch like a Swiss cheese. No? It's uh, it's not very uh, sta uh, sta stable. Okay, so we had to cover it all of concrete, and then half of the con concrete was covered with uh, with wood. Um, what can I say? Uh, we have uh, basically we are, uh, and as a matter, uh, yeah, for destruction. For the moment, we had no destruction. There was uh, there's one piece that's mi mi missing. It's downstairs. Maybe you saw there's uh, two small uh, wooden poles with nothing uh, in the middle of it. There was a hammock, you know, a hammock made out of stone. Where, and they would like uh, uh, do that like all day long. And at one mo at one moment, the hammock was broken. So it broke down in like two months or something. But okay, we did not replace it. Um, and it's the only thing, but there was no uh, like uh, graffiti everywhere. Uh, no, no, no one tried to burn it. Uh, it was uh, pretty well accepted because when you do something that's good for kids, people usually try to respect it. But here, it's very much occupied at night. The park is closed at night, but it's crowded with people. Uh, okay. They do. You don't know. We don't know what they do, but it's crowded with people uh, because it's easy to, to come up. Like um, in all the parks in uh, uh, in Paris, uh, you can be sure there's a uh, lot of people uh, inside. Um, that's one thing. And also one th one funny thing is that when you um, when you're finished with the work, there's that is there's like this one guy who comes up. Uh, and check if everyone is if, if everything is correct for the rules for children okay and he's got this big um, a case like a metal case and he comes on the side and he op opens it and then he gets some kind of those tools okay um, like he's got th this tool which is a round uh, like a head okay made out of wood with a thing uh, to hold it and he tries to like plug his head like in all different kinds of you know and he goes like this everywhere and then he's got this um, he's got this other one uh, which is like a, a finger okay and he tries to clip his finger everywhere uh, that's the um, the reason for the dimension of the holes in the in the metal sheet okay it's like it's like uh, thicker than a, a small finger of a small uh, child but you could not stick your hand in it or uh, it's like a, okay it it, it, can, it can't be very different than this size so you can do you cannot do every design that you do and also he has uh, this um, piece of uh, of cord with a small ball and he tries to to throw it at the game because it would be like uh, the um, the cord that you have around your around your uh, 
your winter your winter jacket, you know, so that you don't get an. Uh, <laughs> so that's what he does. So he's got all those kind of weird tools, and if one gets stick where it shouldn't get, then you have to redo the thing again. The guy doesn't read plans. He just checks on the real thing. He ca can't read plans. So you have to work with him before and be sure of yourself, and uh, and basically you have to learn all the rules. It's very complicated. We, we did all this uh, first in uh, on a uh, real model in cardboard. Then in 3D on the AutoCAD, which is a very bad idea. And then we printed it again and did another model. And then we took pictures of the model and did another 3D uh, model. So it was really complicated. We were starting from the beginning. And uh, right now, I would do it much, much, much uh, faster. But uh, it was funny to do it uh, on, on a model, too. OK. If you have questions. Uh, right now, I would do it on SketchUp. <laughs> <laughs> so much easy. Mm -mm -mm. Um, also, it was very complicated for, for the, the companies who made it because re the, pr the, the plans of this thing is like unreadable, totally, uh, totally complicated. Mm. And I would do also, I would not do this as complicated, like all the triangles, uh, pieces, etc. I would do it much more uh, sim simple. Uh, one year. It costs one million point one point one uh, million euros. Only. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's almost the, the 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 price of a building. Yeah. Yeah. I don't consider this as being an, an architecture. I consider this as being a landscape design. Okay. Uh, you have certain aspects of uh, human behavior analysis that are almost uh, as necessary as the own of architecture. So I would consider as well as only a landscape architecture. Mm -hmm. I think it's much more complex than, uh, than, than a simple landscape design, for example. But um, yeah, in my opinion, It's not that it's complex, it's more that it's blurry, you know? Unclear. It's unclear, yeah. It's unclear, it doesn't look like anything. Then actually there's no reason for doing anything here. Okay. So it's not a, it's not a system, there's no arguments. It's just a feeling, it's just like if it was a piece of nature. Uh, and that what makes uh, our approach very different from an approach of an architecture firm, which is we use the same tools, the same uh, uh, technical si skills sometimes, um, but uh, the approach is like it's a piece of nature. So you cannot reduce it to a system. You know, this idea of nature being an ecosystem with uh, uh, the big uh, fish eating the small fish and all this is a big harmony and it's fine. Uh, this is not the point. The Nature doesn't work like that. But nature is like you don't understand everything, anything, anything. It's all messy and uh, it's a big competition and uh, uh, and it's uh, it's as wild as uh, as the worst of the uh, the battles in the worst uh, times ever. Okay, so I wouldn't say there's a. It's just, but the the thing, the most important thing is, is, is what is common with architecture is the relation to the body which means that all the job is like, basically it's putting dimensions to things. What should be the dimension? What should be the slope? Like for testing the slopes, I did it myself. Like uh, trying to see what's the maximum slope on which you can stay on your feet. Okay, at, at a certain point, it becomes a game to do that. You have to know exactly. So we took pictures and measure some slopes with kids playing on it, etc. For us, it's different when it's kids <coughs> from when, when it's us. So when you have in comfort, Things not being comfortable, it can become uh, it can become uh, a, a play. Also, were there the concrete stairs? It wasn't a problem for. Yeah, it was a bit a problem, but it went okay. 
the the guy who made the control he was really cool and really intelligent but if it was another guy he would never have accepted the playground so it was the playground is really at the limit of the rule we have to study very well the rule like a, a bit a lawyer you know like a shark lawyer to see all the the mistakes and what the rules hasn't planned to put to to find all the the the, the things that was was not possible to because the rules is only uh, dedicated to, to flat uh, terrains and all the games have to be uh, separated from each other mm -hmm. okay and here all the games are, are all on the same place so you have to think differently yeah so without those rules you can see that those stairs are dangerous they have sharp edges and uh, that's the only I thing don't that's consider so when the I guy didn't this. consider so and there was no accident but when you look at it you could yeah. say that it's dangerous but when you think uh, uh, you think of it you need those stairs and uh, either you don't do the playground or it's like a negotiation Just have one thing to say regarding like the things you said uh, concerning this blend and mixture of architecture and uh, landscape design. Well, yesterday some of us we had this like guided walk, and uh, we see some like interesting designs like this one that there's no like clear limit. Everything's like very blended between similar disciplines, and there was like this architect. Nicolas uh, Sisek, I think, uh, from Kotz Architects, and he told us the best thing an architect should do is to marry a landscape designer. <laughs> <laughs> kind of made sense. <laughs> I wouldn't marry with, uh, with an architect, girl. Me either. I don't know. Enough. Enough. Okay. What about this? Uh, yeah, what about this? Yeah, the back part of the of the tower it's not accessible. Yeah, it's accessible. You can access it, access it when you're uh, when you're a kid, or if you're a bit masochist, you can try to try to get in it. Uh, it's it's very small, narrow to get in here, so that if you fall, you always find something to to not to fall. But it's accessible. In this black box, you see the Eiffel Tower. Okay, I think it's quite hot in here right now. Uh, and another thing, this uh, ground is a uh, um, recycling of, uh, of tires. It's uh, broken tires, small pieces of tires, and mixed together. It's not very ecological, but on this slope, you don't have no choice. Yeah, I'll tell you other stories tonight. Yeah. <laughs> right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.